Hey guys, it's Chelsea, and I'm here with a video that was requested. And if you see where I'm leaning, you probably can already guess what it's about. So if you know the first thing about me, you will know that I love books. And by love, I mean like I love them. I am so obsessed with books. They are so important to me. They play such a huge role in my life. And I don't buy them, I adopt them. <laughs> so I've got a lot. You'll see, my family is huge. So yeah, naturally, it's really no surprise that it was requested that I give you guys a little tour of my book collection. So enjoy me rambling about books for the next minutes. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so here we go. First things first. This is my main bookshelf. This is my secondary bookshelf. There's some stuff over here. And there are a few over there, but I won't go all the way. I'll just tell you that over there are just some books on, you know, like distractions and riddles and like stuff that keeps you busy, and also some about finding yourself, and some on artistic work because you can see that's my artistic corner, so it's books about music and theater and drawing and all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, now let's start here. Now here you can see a shelf full of like big books, encyclopedias and that kind of stuff about animals because I love animals and always have. And then we have this messy one here. <laughs> that is filled with stuff from university, which explains why it's so messy. So it's all kind of workbooks and books I had to read and all my dictionaries and thesaurus and all that kind of stuff because, well, I studied languages, so I needed that kind of stuff all the time. Then here, oh yeah, I also like calendars if you didn't know that yet. <laughs> Up here is old books. I mean it figuratively, like old poets, Shakespeare and Lessing and other old things, offers that kind of stuff. And literally old books. One of them is from 1903, something like that, and the rest is from the 20s, 30s, I think. Like two or three are from the 60s, but not older than that. And um, for example, if you just look at one of them, <sighs> they're my treasures. I love old books, I love them so much, and I'm so proud of all of them. Then, this is my classics collection and also my stone collection because stones are freaking awesome. So, it's all kind of classic books. The only problem is that I also have a shelf for my favorite books, but half of these classics are also some of my favorite books. So where do I put them? The struggle is real. <laughs> but I mostly keep them to my classics shelf. Here's stuff on history and geography, because I'm a nerd. <laughs> and I really find this stuff really interesting. And then here is actually an entire collection of an entire series on world history. Yep. That's how cool I am. And now finally my main shelf. I'm too lazy to take down my pictures here. So just believe me when I say it's some stuff from high school still even. And more language stuff that I didn't need for university. So for example some. Czech and Latin and also some children's book that books like Disney and yeah that didn't fit in any of the other shelves because they were too big. We will get to this shelf later. So oh yeah and down here before we get to the main oh, down here are more encyclopedias and knowledge books that are just general knowledge books not about anything specific. And down here we have the book I'm currently reading and 
a book that I'm basically always reading because I literally read this like at least once every month because it just gives me so much personally and helps me a lot and always grounds me and I just love it and yeah and this is some my own stuff and this is a picture that always falls down from my bookshelf <laughs> okay so now let's get to this so what you need to know about me is that I need a certain system in order with my books and it has always annoyed me when books that belong together don't stand together. So recently I rearranged my bookshelf and I'm really proud of it. So first of all there are two rows of books on every single shelf. I don't know if you can see that in the light but yeah I have over 400 books and I already gave over 100 away this year so I wasn't joking when I said I'm obsessed. <laughs> so this shelf is just any kind of books like just novels and they're arranged in alphabetical order of the last name of their author. Yay! And I don't care for languages because I read in English and in German and I have a couple Spanish books and even one or two French ones. So they're all together just according to the last names. And there are some in here that I read like when I was way younger but I didn't get rid of them because I like them a lot. I wanted to keep them. And then here are books, same system, last name of the author, but those where I have a series. For example, all my books from the Goosebumps series by R. L. Stein that I was so obsessed with when I was younger and I still think they're really cool so I keep them all. So yeah, they're all together in one row and that's just so pretty. I'm sorry, I'm really all about that kind of stuff. And down here are books by authors where I have several books but they don't belong to the same series. For example, Nick Hornby. It's all his books that I have but they're not a series but I still have several of them so I wanted them all to be together. I'm sorry, sometimes my head is like that. It makes sense in my head and I'm really proud of the system I came up with. And up here are my absolute favorite books. In the back row, you can't really see that. Crap. <laughs> there you can see it. Well, kind of. It's Mary Higgins Clark. So half of the back row, actually from here up to here is Mary Higgins Clark because she is my favorite thriller slash crime novelist. Yeah, so I love her books and they're really cool so I have a whole bunch of them. Then here are the Twilight books. I have the entire series. Okay, the lighting is really crappy. I'm really sorry. It's really dark outside because it's raining so yeah, because I think the way the Twilight series is written, not necessarily even the story, but just the way it's written is so good. Then here is, oh gosh, what's her name in English? Maybe Long Stockings, I think? It's my favorite, or one of my favorite childhood books. Then we got Bill Price and Mother Tongue, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. These are two of my writing journals where I write my stories in. This is my wrecked journal and can we just take a moment to appreciate this thing? I wrecked that thing all right. <laughs> but I'm still not done with it. Oh my goodness. I love my wrecked that journal. <laughs> Charisma, you're awesome. This is not wanting to come out. This is my Kindle. This is one of those that is actually a classic. But I couldn't put it with the other classics because it's A Little Princess and this is my absolute favorite book of all times. So I had to put it on the favorite shelf. This is my Nicholas Sparks collection. I can't talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> my Nicholas Sparks collection because he is amazing. This is the only Harry Potter book I actually own. <laughs> and I got it from a friend who happened to have 
two of these because I read all of them borrowed from a friend but I might get the other ones at some point. This is a book I used to love so much when I was younger so I put it up here and I feel like I'll have to read it again at some point. John Green, enough said, John Green, Hunger Games, of course, and then the books by Chris Colfer because he is freaking amazing and his books are just wow. This is Struck by Lightning, which is so cool, and The Land of Stories, I love these books, I read them both within like maybe two days and I'm currently waiting for the third part to get delivered to me. So looking forward to that, yay! And that is it, that is my book collection. I hope you enjoyed this random video. If you have any more requests either regarding my books or any other things that you would like to see, any kind of videos or tours or whatever, then just write me a message or a comment something like that and then I shall get to that <laughs> so I probably will return to reading now <laughs> see you guys soon stay awesome <laughs>